tell you already know what time it is welcome back to another thinker versus speaker recap if you didn't know my name is marissa the thinker host of thinker versus speaker a podcast where once a week i sit down with different guests and we talk about all things anything everything life love relationships spirituality literally everything nothing's off limits with thinker versus speaker so if you into that kind of thing make sure you check out the podcast we on All the streaming services, yes, that's right. Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Amazon Music, uh, where else? iHeartRadio, literally wherever you find podcasts. So you know what I'm saying? And we're right here on YouTube. You know what I'm saying? I always link back to YouTube so we're easy to find somewhere, somewhere in the description. You can find us. So if you're into that kind of thing, definitely check out the podcast. We got new episodes every Friday at 11. And I talk to somebody different and we just explore a different topic. You know what I'm saying? Always goes back to healing. Always goes back to, you know what I'm saying? Taking care of yourself, loving yourself, mental health, all that kind of thing. So, you know, yeah, let's hop into it, right? Um, What's up with me? I don't know, y'all. I don't know. Um, I don't know. I feel real, you know? Y'all ever have those days where it's just like, I'm not bad. I'm good. I'm very good. But I'm just playing the waiting game. You know what I'm saying? I'm just playing in the waiting game of life. I'm doing all of the things that I need to do. And I'm just, you know, letting life, life. You know, I took a break. If you couldn't tell, uh, I think I don't think I posted Sunday or Monday. I just started posting again today, which is Tuesday. And you know what I'm saying? It's just my bad. It's just, uh, you know what I'm saying? Just doing my thing and, uh, you know, doing a bunch of self-reflection. You know, I like taking time to take care of myself when necessary and it was one of those times where i was just taking care of myself nothing bad happened it was good you know and i'm saying i'm good but you know i just wanted to give back to myself a little bit more and we got things going on behind the scenes that i'm excited to tell y'all about soon but you know what i'm saying we gotta but i've been doing work in different ways and you know coming up with certain things and really reflecting on what Thinker versus Speaker is and what my goals for the show are and what it is that we're trying to do here. Because, you know, when I started out, it was fun. I didn't have a plan. And I mean, let's be honest, it's still fun. I'm still having a time of my life doing this. But, you know, as we continue to grow and I'm growing as a person, you know, of course you want to think about where it is that you're going, you know, setting goals and trying to accomplish that goal. So I've just been doing a lot of reflection and just taking stock on the growth of myself and the channel and the show in general. Like I said it last week on the last recap, I had been going through a space of like listening to old episodes and seeing how we've grown and like I've had a bunch of... um full circle moments, you know, and it's left me, I guess, like the name of this week's episode, right? It's left me kind of speechless. Um, Usually I don't talk about the first, ep- I mean, I don't talk about the last episode first, but like, let's just get into it, right? This week's episode, it has key, like key is back. And it's so crazy because it starts off as a conversation about networking. And in the end, it is. It's a conversation about networking. You know, I'm getting ready for this Emerging Business Leaders Expo, uh, November 4th, St. Louis, Missouri, 11 to 4. I'll be there, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, all of the, a lot of the other guests who've been on the show, too, you know, Trey, Precious, Rachel, shout out to her. She was on the show last week. Talk about it in a minute. Trey, Donald, Ray, Rachel, Precious, like all involved in the expo, all making things happen. I think that was everybody that's been on the show so far. But, you know, even Chris, shout out to Chris. y'all. Well, I don't think he's in the expo, but he's one of the people. You know what I'm saying? Because we're all connected in this in this network of people, you know, and that's what our episode is about. As I prepare for this expo is bringing out another side of me that I tend to 
not embrace all the time right um i always talk about me being shy like i was shy for a lot of my years i was shy like very very shy um i didn't like stepping outside of my comfort zone and talking to people that i didn't know i could do it for school and i could do it for my jobs and i would do it well you know because something in me just clicks on in those settings but if it came to me doing it for myself in the past i didn't quite have the confidence <laughs> to be as going as i am now or i'm becoming and with that being said it's it, it's always been a interesting thing for me now or it's becoming a more interesting thing as i'm stepping outside of my comfort zone and doing things that i'm not used to like talking to strangers and going to different events and you know just really putting myself out there putting the show out there you know i'm growing to like it like i realize like i've been a social per person the whole time that thing that used to switch on in the past for me it was always you know, part of who I was, but I was doing it for institutions and not myself. And now I'm having to flip that switch for myself. And it's just an interesting place to be when you really have to embrace the fact that I'm putting myself in a position where I have to rely on my own skills and, you know, ability for the sake of my own growth and my future. And it's really putting yourself out there in that uncomfortable position, you know. It's an interesting place to be. So to anybody who is dealing with or has dealt with stuff like that, you know, shout out to y'all because it's not a necessarily easy thing to do, but you know, it's possible we can do it. And you know, I'm, w I'm right with y'all like doing all this stuff too, but you know, my mind goes to Kiara for this for this topic. Why? Because she's a networking liaison. She talks to people. This is what she does, you know. Even for her job before she was promoted, that's what she would do, a whole bunch of networking. So, you know, I wanted to get that advice and get that for the audience, like a conversation about, you know, how to network. What does that look like? Um, does it look the same for everybody? What are some tips and tricks for people who are trying to become comfortable with networking? And I think we really, really do a good job at explaining networking, but there is something special that, that happens in the show where, you know, it starts off as me being the one to ask the questions until we pose a particular question that changes the direction of the episode in a in a very special way so i'm definitely interested to get your thoughts on that you know just to give it a little bit of a spoiler you know what i'm saying to an extent like it leaves kiara speechless in the end so if you want to know what i'm talking about you want to know why she got left speechless in the end you got to check out the episode you know what i'm saying but it, i feel like it definitely goes full circle you know with the conversation that we had with Rachel, right? Miss Eloquent Perfection. You know, how'd y'all like last week's episode? Definitely, if you liked it, give a thumbs up to this video. You know what I'm saying? Drop a comment. Tell me tell me what you liked about it. You know, was it anything that I missed in talking to her? But I definitely felt like her episode was really good too in the way that we got to talk, you know, not only about her story, we got to learn a lot about her story going into poetry and her process of writing and you know networking and going to these different events and you know really being able to walk in her purpose and do something that she loves and that's something that you know i talk about all the time on this show so i love it when people get to come on the show and actually talk about their purpose and you know what it's like for them to actually walk in their purposes because you know sometimes it seems like such an unreachable and unattainable thing but in reality that's not true you know we talked about the journey of being able to do it you know from being people pleasers at one point in time to learning how to you know learning how 
and when to put yourself first and really go for what it is that you want so you can find yourself and put yourself in more positions to be able to, you know, embrace all of the sides of you, right? You know, a big part of being able to work, walk in your purpose, sorry, a big reason we're able to in our perspective is because it takes a certain level of knowing yourself and what you enjoy and what it is that you want to do you know for her a part of her purpose is poetry for me it's having conversations you know what i'm saying not a show it's having conversations and being able to pick people's brain and gain knowledge like that's what it is for me um that's what the show is for me is picking people's brain to therefore hopefully share and gain knowledge so you know we talk about how you get there right because for me it was a journey and it was a process and it took a lot of just divine intervention and soul work like you know just not soul work but just diving deep into who I am and asking a lot of questions and really taking time to self-reflect and then put that work in to change, which I think is actually going to go with the episode after this one. So they're all connected, but yeah, um, we got to talk about, you know, just purpose and embracing it and those kind of things. Like, again, like if I sound like I'm speechless, it's because I am like, I'll be real. This is a lot of information for me to take in, you know, even just doing this. I talk to a lot of people and we explore a lot of different topics. And some of the topics that we talk about, they stay with me for a while, right? It's something that I love about being able to have these real life conversations with people. But the thing about them is like they apply to life. And a lot of the times, for me, the reflections, uh, the conversations that we have on the show are a reflection of like where we are in life. And I be trying to take it in right along with y'all. Like I'm on a journey right with y'all trying to figure it out. And, you know, hopefully it doesn't come across like I know everything because really like what we're about is, you know, sometimes you're in a position where you're the student and you need to just kind of sit and listen and take that information in and make it make sense to you and then figure out how to apply it to life. That's where I am right now, right? I'm getting lessons from the people that I talk to. I'm getting lessons, you know, and the people that I talk to outside of here um, from God, you know, and I'm taking those lessons in and trying to figure out where they apply to life. But then there's the speaker aspect where, you know, sometimes you have more to offer on a subject. You know, you've done the work, you have that background in a particular area, and you have that knowledge and being able to trust yourself to then therefore become the teacher and to speak on what it is that you know and relay that information to other people with, you know, confidence. And it's just like, sometimes it's not even in the fact of, necessarily being right or wrong but sometimes it's about just creating a dialogue in general so maybe we can talk through it and figure it out together which is something that I think is really dope one about conversations in general two about what we're able to do on the show sometimes so hopefully y'all like it I like it that's why I keep doing it but you know what I'm saying if y'all like it definitely um Give this video a like and share your thoughts. Like, what are some things that, you know, y'all get from conversations? Like, do you feel like conversations are even important? Do you find value in conversations? And like, what are some conversations that y'all have had in y'all lives that have like left an impact on you like forever? You know, like, you know how you have those moments sometimes where somebody could say something and you heard it like a thousand times before but it finally just hits or somebody tells you something and it doesn't seem like it means much at the time and then you're sitting back later and you were like man it was something to that and then it sticks with you what are some conversations that y'all have have had like that i'd be so curious to hear you know some of the conversations that y'all have had in your life that have changed you so 
You know what I'm saying? With that being said, I'm going to go ahead and hop up out of here, get ready for to put out this video. So we ready to go tomorrow. I hope y'all enjoyed your week. Hope you enjoyed this recap. You know what I'm saying? If you did, definitely make sure to go check out the podcast. It's on all of the streaming platforms. And we got a new episode coming out on Friday at 11 with Kiara Colo. You know, it's going to be a good one. It's going to leave you speechless, hopefully. And if it doesn't leave you speechless, let's talk about it. I should be okay by the end. Um, if you're looking for me on social media, you can find me at Marissa Y17 on Instagram, Marissa the Thinker on Facebook and YouTube. And if you're looking for Thinker versus Speaker, you can find it at Thinker versus Speaker on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Thinker versus Speaker, wherever you're trying to stream it. And yeah, that's all I got. See y'all Friday and then see y'all next week. Later.